Hey everyone, this is Anarchy. A lot of people said that they actually did want to see a walkthrough of my hotel. It is a three level, eight room luxury hotel on Spectacle Island. Um, I used a lot of mods to help me do this. The main one would be Homemaker. If you're not using it and you like to build, you should really be using it. Uh, I'm going to try and rush this a little bit because uh, this is my second attempt and my first one took about 25 minutes and I don't think you guys want to watch this video for 20, 25 minutes, so let's try it again. Uh, you can see, first of all, that the trees, I did delete um, all of the ugly trees and I put in a bunch of really pretty trees from Homemaker. I'm not quite done with the landscaping. Actually, I'm probably far from done with the landscaping, but I'm going to continue kind of beautifying the island by putting in nice trees and some other landscaping. Uh, to power this house, I basically not only use the 20 power generator from the boat, I put in from Homemaker the 75 power generator, and I had to hook up another 20 power generator just to, so that's like 115 power just to power the hotel which is kind of crazy so I kind of put it behind a wall to keep the ugly away from the main entrance here uh, the main entrance has a concierge desk so I'm going to hopefully assign somebody to be the concierge at some point also a waiting room for whoops a waiting room for whoever comes to, to kind of have some place to sit and wait or talk to the concierge when they're there it's got a nice view of the Commonwealth on these gigantic windows these this tile set up here is the Institute tile set so everything from here is what they use in the Institute and then this is just the basic floor it does have a higher resolution prettier texture on it than <clears throat> um, than normal but it is just um, a, a retexture of the basic wood floor uh, we're gonna stay out of this room for a minute uh, I also used the alternate set settlements and here we only I only used it basically for some flags and some wall decorations because they have a lot of really neat stuff in that mod but it was not most of it was not the aesthetic that I was going for okay so this is our first room I like to call this the single solo travel room it's basically built for one person to have a nice room just to themselves um, every room has a bathroom they are all using the pre-war bathroom tile set stuff, so it has a nice toilet, a nice shower that doesn't have mold all over it. Oh, I get caught on the toilet. Um, <clears throat> a nice sink and sa shaving area. Um, so all of the, the bathrooms you see are going to look basically like that. Uh, this room has a one-person lounge and uh, just... Uh, a nice view, no balcony or anything. Also, I use these curtains in every room because they're literally the only curtains that you can use that will go well with the tile set. Okay, um, I have this awesome Preston Garvey. He is my romance companion uh, flag right there. This is what I like to call the honeymoon suite. Uh, walking in, we have a fireplace, got the bathroom over there, uh, got a nice seating area with a beautiful view, and over here, we have the bed area. Um, it also, <clears throat> this room also does have a TV. Uh, it doesn't do anything, but there it is. This is the first room with a beautiful balcony. This is also probably the nicest room in the place, but uh, just a nice balcony with a lot of trees to, to look at. Nice view. A good seating area here. I really wish Homemaker had a nicer uh, tile set for... Or, the nicer texture set for these chairs but this is the only one they have but oh well i had to put these bushes down on the balconies because there's some places where the the aluminum shack would not let me put down wood floors over it so where you see that is because i'm covering up ugly wood or ugly aluminum under that um just a really nice view here of the sea and then you can see the hallway we just came out of and the bedroom there. I love these doors except for this. This is the problem. This is the only doors I could find that would snap into this Institute tile set. But they clip horribly on the other side. They look great besides that, but what are you going to do? <clears throat> we have a nice seating area here, uh, as we saw from outside a minute ago. Just for anybody who wants to come and hang out. This is what I like to call the red room. It's got these beautiful red lamps everywhere. Um, they are a little bit dingy, but you can just think it's an aesthetic. <laughs> I kind of designed the room around these red lamps. Um, I think they're really pretty. 
This room has also got a large balcony with a seating area and a really great view of the Commonwealth, the sea, and the large shared balcony with the other room. The last room on this floor that we missed the first time, uh, we have a lot of clipping issues with <laughs> some plants. So I almost didn't include this room on the tour, but I might as well show you. I kind of call it the nature room since it's got just a lot of nature hanging out. Unfortunately, a lot of the vases and stuff I had set up fell and clipped through the floor and they do that every time. So I'm going to have to think about my decorating a little bit um, again because it looked really nice when everything was put up, but every time I reload the game, it dies. Okay, uh, so that is the top floor with the four rooms. Uh, all the rooms down here have three floors. Unfortunately, this is the biggest problem with the place, is that I cannot put anything here. So we've got a big opening that you can easily fall into. Alright, I have came back out of there. Um, in this hallway, we just have a really nice view of the Commonwealth right there. Okay, this room I like to call the singles room, or the, the doubles room actually. Because uh, it's made for two single people to take a vacation together like two friends. So we've got the two single beds, we have a seating area with a nice view here and a seating area with a nice view there so they can have a little bit of their own spaces. Uh, got the bathroom and going outside we have a nice view of the park down there and the Commonwealth, the sea, and a gigantic uh, balcony, not as big as the one above but a real, still a really nice balcony out here. The other room on this floor is what I like to call the antique room. It's got um, some furniture that from tile sets that look a little bit older. It's a little more banged up, but I think it's still really pretty stuff. Um, in my mind, I'm going to restore all of this, even though it, there's no tile set for it. Got the stuff that used to be on top of the dresser now on the floor. <clears throat> got a nice... Uh, view over here, a little bit more pathway than I'd like, but what are you going to do? Uh, nice sitting area with the fireplace, one of only two rooms with the fireplace, and a stereo right there, that's the only place I use that. And out on the balcony again, and there. Alright, going down one more floor. Got a hallway on the way out there that way got a nice view in that hallway have a refreshment center here so anybody who wants to come get refreshments can so what I'd like to call the recovery room uh, I will show you guys in a minute I have a medical clinic set up on the other side of the island and this is where they can come and do their recovery there's two beds still only one bath every room only has one bathroom but it's really pretty at night with the with it all glowing and lit up, including a doctor's desk and a seating area, waiting area. And this is the final room. I like to call it the family room. It's built for an entire family to stay here together. We've got two double bunk beds so that I would say six people could sleep there because you don't want to put two people on the top bunk. And a crib, just ignore the fact that it's all broken down and ugly and pretend like it's the nice pre-war tile set for that crib. Um, over here we have a family room with a nice view. Every room comes with at least one radio. Got a really nice view. There's no balcony in this bottom floor. And over here we have a play area for the kids. Going to put more uh, toys there later when I head back to Vault 81 and pick some stuff up that I would have been saving for Sean. But, you know. Alright, so down here we have a opening. This is kind of the shack to get in and out of the hotel <clears throat> from the lower floors. I like to have it just kind of all closed up. We have a nice seating area, a fishing pier here. It's actually covering up a dead whale down there. <laughs> so ignore the smell. I don't know what you're talking about. There's no smell. And uh, we've got a play area for the kids and a picnic area with the Minutemen flag. Kind of the view from the other side on the outside. Okay. Right behind you. I'm gonna show you guys. Whoops. 
I need to replace that bush. I'm going to move this guard guard's post here um, and get him out of the way. He doesn't need to be in the way of the view of all of the pretty stuff. So over here, um, this is the currently the employee's sleeping place. All of the settlers have a bed in here. I actually think I have more settlers than beds in here now. So they're not sleeping there anymore. Um, I have one of these in almost every settlement that just kind of looks exactly like this. So I'm probably going to end up moving this and maybe even building the servants a nicer set of quarters somewhere. <clears throat> oh, I shouldn't say servants. The workers. It's a better word. This is the mall. Um, all of the commerce is here. You can walk in and get yourself some cigarettes or some water. This is the clinic that I was talking about earlier. The doctor's here. Um, it annoys me that all of the tops of the shops clip up there, but I really like having them having actual shop stands. The doctor has an office here with a desk and a computer and some files. And then in here is the clinic. Got a couple of beds. Let's get a look at you. And all the equipment a doctor could need for their lab. Over here we have got the armor, armorer and weaponsmith. Uh, got a Nuka Cola machine there. It's a retextured Nuka Cola machine. I really like that texture. Over here we have the kitchen, a fully restored pre-war kitchen and a working cooking stove. Uh, looks really nice. I'm gonna get some more stuff, hopefully new looking shiny stuff, to go in here. Although I really do like the toaster I found, so got that going for us at least. We got the bartender, all of the um, NPCs yeah. have gotten to be renamed and have uniforms on them uniformly across the world which is nice using mods again they're on the mod list we have like a restaurant area here seating for 10 i probably need to expand this i might actually take all of this part out and make a restaurant its own thing somewhere else what, what can i do to help out hey a new settler did you need anything not right now we're pretty well set for the moment yeah i know you are and um down here we have the trader and the clothing so they're there. So it's kind of a wide view of the trouble, I hope. back of the mall area. Okay, I went and slept for a couple of hours. Um, I just wanted to show a real quick tour of how it looks at night. I just think it's really pretty. Um, the lighting does a lot for it. You can kind of see the yellow um, up there and then <clears throat> kind of how it gets purple over here and blue or down there. But I thought we could do a quick run through of the place. At night, if you don't care, this is a good place to stop, though. Lost track of um, every floor has a color. The top floor is the yellow floor, um, since yellow is a very calming color. Um, there's a I use a mod that basically um, makes the light go farther in the settlement lights and I think that does a really nice job of giving the rooms a lot of mood lighting before I installed it. <clears throat> I actually had a lot more lights set up because um, I just it was always so dark and it's still kind of dark but I think it's a lot moodier and a prettier dark now than it was before. But kind of bright over here, got a lot of mood lighting. The tree is actually lit up by a, can't see it, by a street lights this room I think is especially pretty at night because of the red lamps that I kind of designed the room around there is a ceiling fan up there but I don't have it running right now <clears throat> middle floor is the purple floor it's got a lot of purple lighting in it you can there you can see the street lamp shining out of the park This room has a lot of the lighting coming in from above and out in the hallway, and it's just really nice. The antique room. <clears throat> and downstairs. Downstairs is my favorite with the blue. It's just really pretty here. And this room especially, the recovery room. I didn't put any white lights in here except for in the bathroom. So just a lot of really moody lighting here. Family room's pretty lit up. 
you'd kind of expect it to be. Anyway, that is it. Um, still have a lot of work to do on the island as a whole, but I really like the things that have been done so far. I just want to kind of show off what I've done. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think.